leadoff pitch. Strike three! Person gets it done. A no-hitter for Cameron Person. First pitch is driven out into the outfield. It drops. This game is tied. Aubrey Goodnight, the game of her Nighthawk career. Connected, driven deep, and it is over the wall. A grand slam home run for Katie Branch, and the Nighthawks take the lead. Live from Hot Springs, a world-class high school in beautiful Hot Springs, Arkansas, this is National Park College Nighthawk Softball on the Nighthawk Network. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us on this edition of Nighthawk Softball here on the Nighthawk Network. My name is Mark Oliver with National Park College. Once a season, we like to do what we like to call a retro throwback, where National Park College returns to the place where it all began, Hot Springs World-Class High School, where the program began just about a handful of years ago go here in the spa city hot springs arkansas today they'll be taking on the trailblazers of arkansas state university mountain home making the trip up from baxter county to take on the nighthawks here national park college coming off of a couple of road losses on the road to number five ranked murray state college over the weekend and after a few days of rest take on the trailblazers here the trailblazers looking for their first wins of the season oh 12 coming into today's action. Bailey Cowell in the circle for National Park College. The first pitch flies and we are underway. Count is 1-0 on the leadoff hitter for the Trailblazers. Number 24, the center fielder, Sydney Bryans. Due up for the Trailblazers here in the first will be Sydney Bryans, Jesse Latham, and Ashley Early against your Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services featured Nighthawk of the game, Bailey Cowell. In between games today, we'll talk to Bailey and learn her Nighthawk story and get her thoughts on this big NJCAA Region 2 showdown between the Nighthawks and Trailblazers. And Cowell fires down the middle to even the count up at one apiece here in the top of the first inning. If you're new to the broadcast or perhaps maybe a fan of the Trailblazers tuning in from about, what, four, four and a half hours away, welcome to the broadcast here on the Nighthawk Network. It doesn't matter which team you're rooting for. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're here to see, and we would love to give you a shout-out on the live broadcast today. Kind of a soggy Friday afternoon. Here in the Spa City, rain falling for the majority of the morning up to this point, but finally sailing away and allowing these young women to play. Count is 2-2 two and two on Sydney Bryans, the leadoff hitter to start the ball game. Cowell has the one she wants from her battery mate, Gracie Redmond. The 2-2 two -two down low, that's ball three. This count is full. Brian's looking to be the first base runner on for the Trailblazers here in the first inning. The count is full. Cowell winds, fires down low. It's ball four. That'll be a leadoff walk to start the show here in the top of the first inning. So Brian's is aboard, trotting down the first, and that brings up second baseman number two, Jesse Latham. No outs, one on for Latham, who bats 227 this season with five hits, four runs scored, and three walks to her name. Takes the first pitch in for strike one.
Cowell gets the one she wants. Latham shows Bunt. Bunts it down the third baseline, scooped up by Katie Branch. The throw goes over Molly Poole over at first into the outfield. And that's going to score a run. ASU Mountain Home will take the lead on a throwing error here in the first inning. And that will result with runner on second. So Latham reaches on the error. Next up for the Trailblazers, left fielder Ashley Early. Meeting in the circle for the Nighthawks, looking to calm things down, get things back under control. Here in the top of the first, of course, we're playing two today here from Hot Springs World Class High School. Ashley Early bats 333 this season. Ten hits, seven runs scored, six RBI for the freshman left fielder. Cowell gets set, runner on second, nobody out. The first pitch, low and away, ball one. Count is 1-0 and oh on early. Cowell winds and fires. There is a foul ball out of play. ASU, Mountain Home, starting the scoring off of a throwing error here in the first inning. The count is 1-1. One one. On its way, taken high at the shoulders, 2-1. The 2-1 pitch from Bailey Cowell. There's a liner over to second base, scooped by Ashbrook. The throw to first. Poole makes the play, and there's one away here in the first inning. The runner will advance to third on the play. But Early is retired 4-3 for the first out of the inning. Next up for the Trailblazers, third baseman Callie Dunn. Dunn bats 323 this season. One of the team hitters, team leaders in a hits, I should say, with 10. Four runs scored, four RBI, has a home run to her name. First pitch right on the money, strike one from Cowell. Latham, the runner on third. Cowell's 0-1 offering, a swing and a miss. Looking to get a big punch out here. And ultimately trying to get NPC out of the jam in the first. Cowell gets her pitch, 0-2 on its way, a swing and a miss, strike three. And down goes Dunn, the first K of the day for Bailey Cowell. Two outs in the inning. And now for the Trailblazers, it's the shortstop. Number 14, Tinley Williams. Cowell's first offering on its way, a swing and a miss. Latham staying put over on third base. The base runner for the Trailblazers. The count is 0-1 back home. Williams ready in the box. Pitch on its way, and it's a pitch out, trying to get her to swing. No chase. The count evens up at 1-1. One one. Cowell stands ready. 1-1 one one on its way, fouled away into the woods. Cowell and the Nighthawks one strike away. Getting out of the top of the first inning here. Hey, 
The count is one and two. Pitch on its way, a little low, ball two. It's two and two. Cowell wheels and deals, and there's a swinging strike three, and the Nighthawks will get out of the inning with just one run across. We go to the bottom of the first. Nighthawks coming to bat next here on the Nighthawk Network. Basketball is what I rise above, alcohol and drugs. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. Bottom of the first inning here at the ballpark, Hot Springs World Class High School, the place where it all began for Nighthawk softball, a little retro throwback, alternate site visit for you today. So I'm glad to have you with you uh, on the broadcast. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College 1-0. ASU Mountain Home taking the lead. They scored on a throwing error in the top of the inning, but this Trailblazers team averages double digits in runs allowed per game this season. Something that the Nighthawks are chomping at the bit to try to get in against, try to stop that losing streak uh, against a juicy matchup here against ASU Mountain Home. Leading things off for the Nighthawks will be number 19, the second baseman, Taylor Ashbrook. We'll also see Taylor Southern and Logan Nyes do up later this inning. We'll put our starting lineup graphic up on the board momentarily. We have a late scratch on the lineup that you see here on your screen. Of course, Ashbrook, Southern, Nyes, Morale, Poole, and Redmond, the top six. Aubrey, Goodnight, a late scratch right before first pitch. And she's been replaced by Jessica Swear in the lineup. Katie Branch and Reagan White close out the starting nine with Cowell in the circle. Nighthawks trail in the bottom of the first inning. Taylor Ashbrook looking to even things up here. First pitch coming in from Bree Johnson, high and away. That's ball one. Ashbrook back into the box, batting on the left-hand side, looking to turn on the Jets with potentially a slow roller in the infield. Up and in, ball two. Ashbrook batting 359 this season. One of the most consistent Nighthawks in the batter's box, and that's why she's batting in the one spot. Ashbrook with 14 hits, four runs scored as she takes ball three. The count is 3-0 on the Nighthawks' second baseman. Johnson has the pitch she wants, and there is a swing. A ground ball to second base. Scoop, throw to first, one away here in the bottom of the first inning. So Ashbrook is retired. That brings up Taylor Southern for Nighthawk Nation. Nighthawks wearing the old retro black and blue jerseys here. So a few different jersey numbers. Taylor Southern trading in her 28 for a number 10 today. First pitch she sees is down at the shoestrings. Ball one. Southern back into the box, facing off against Johnson. One out in the bottom of the first. The count is 1-0. Oh. 
Johnson winds and fires. That's going to hit Southern in the foot. And the Nighthawks will have a runner aboard here in the first inning. Next up for Nighthawk Nation, hard-hitting shortstop Logan Nyes. The sophomore from Rockwall, Texas, blasted her 11th career home run on the road in Oklahoma last weekend. She stands four home runs away from tying the all-time mark. Nyes bats with a runner aboard, one out. First pitch outside, called strike on the corner, and Taylor Southern... Will swipe a bag into scoring position as the tying run. Owen one on Nyes at home plate. Next offering is too low to even it up. And a brief meeting in the circle for the Trailblazers. ASU Mountain Home likely doing its homework on Logan Nyes, the hard-hitting shortstop. Runner on second, Taylor Southern. Count is one and one on Nyes. Into the box we go. Johnson has the pitch she wants on its way, and it's right down the middle for a strike call. And now Southern comes off the bag, and she is marched back to second base, possibly trying to catch the, tail, the Trailblazers sleeping. But there was no attempt to throw her out at second. Defense did not want to take any chances on the speedy Taylor Southern and a potential throwing error with the potential tying run now on second. Count is one and two on Nyes. That one sails high and away, and Southern's going to take off for third. That evens the count at two apiece. Still just one out here in the bottom of the first inning. Tying run stands on third. Johnson winds and fires too low, three and two. Logan Nyes and the Nighthawks threatening to walk, placing runners on the corners with Carly Morrell on deck. Payoff pitch, that's ball four. Logan Nyes will win the battle and trots on down to first base. Back-to-back -back base runners for the Nighthawks after a ground out to start the inning, and Nyes is going to steal second unopposed. The second swiped bag of the inning for Nighthawk Nation. That brings up Carly Morrell. Morale batting with runners on second and third, only one out. The first pitch is in for strike one. Morale this season batting 346, one of the hottest bats for National Park College. Nine hits, five runs scored, three RBI to her name. Also as quick on the base paths if needed as she takes one low to make it one and one. Southern on third, Nyes on second for the Nighthawks. Morale at the plate, looking to bring him in. Outside, that one gets away, and Southern's going to come in and try to tie this game up, and she does. A sliding score for Taylor Southern. Nyes moves to third, we're tied here at Hot Springs High.
Back at home plate is Carly Morrell with a 2-1 count. After NPC evens the score, Logan Nye is looking to be the go-ahead run here in the first. Good eye by Morrell brings the count to 3-1. and one. First baseman Molly Poole standing on deck for the ladies in black and blue. In the circle, Johnson has the one she wants. Pitch on its way, and it's going to hit Morale. Morale will take her base runners on the corners. And that's the third consecutive base runner for Nighthawk Nation. Two hit batters and a walk. Now it's Molly Poole's turn. Pool bats 250 this season. Leading the team in round trippers has three home runs, nine RBI. Go along with 10 hits and seven runs scored. Pool takes that one in the dirt. Taking off for second is Morale. She'll come up standing. So just like that, runners on second and third. Nyes on third, Morale on second. 1-0 on Molly Poole back home. One out in the bottom of the first. Next pitch sails high and away, ball two. Poole steps back into the box. Johnson toes the rubber in the circle. 2-0 delivery. There's a jammed ball down the third baseline. The throw to first pool is retired, and a run scores. The Nighthawks are going to take the lead. Logan Nyes comes in to score the go-ahead run. Two down here in the first inning. Here comes catcher Gracie Redmond. Runner on third, two down here in the first. Redmond shows bunt, pulls back. That's ball one. Morale the runner on third. Nighthawks trying to bring in another one. That one bounces and goes away from the catcher. Morale will score, standing up 3-1 NPC. It clears the bases for Gracie Redmond back home. A 2-0 count on the Nighthawk catcher. Johnson gets her pitch. Redmond pulls back, ready to slash. Ball three. Three zero on its way. Outside edge that catches the corner. Strike one. Redmond showing bunt with a 3-1 count. Pulls back, looking to connect, watches it sail through for strike two. The count is full. And the Trailblazers looking to stop the bleeding after giving up the lead. Here in the bottom of the first inning. Payoff pitch, that's ball four, and the inning continues. Gracie Redmond makes her way down to first base. And that brings up Jessica Swear. Swear enters the game for Aubrey Goodnight, a late scratch just before first pitch. And now the Nighthawk freshman right fielder steps in, looking to add to the 3-1 lead.
First pitch, watched by Swear, 1-0. Johnson winds and fires down at the knees. Ball two. Two outs in the bottom of the inning. For the seventh Nighthawk batter of the first, Jessica Swear. She'll take that one on the outside edge, strike one. The count is two and one. On its way, a little low, three and one. Two walks have been issued by Johnson and the Trailblazers here in the first. Swear trying to be the third. Redmond ready to sprint at the crack of the bat. The 3-1 goes away, ball four. And that brings up runners on first and second. Next up for the Nighthawks, Katie Branch. Of course, playing at our retro location, Hot Springs World Class High School, Katie breaks out the former number, number 52 that she wore all last season, her first year as a Nighthawk. Pitch number one is a ball. Redmond on second, Swear on first. And there's a strike down the middle. Johnson toes the rubber in the circle. Getting the sign from her catcher, Cameron Floyd. Pitch on its way, watched in for a strike. Branch behind in the count, one and two. And there's strike three. Branch will go down looking, and so did the Nighthawks. Here in the first inning, three runs come across as the Nighthawks battle back to take the lead. We'll go to the second here on the Nighthawk Network. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Hi, my name is Kaziah, and volleyball is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. Back at the ballpark, Hot Springs World Class High School, the home of your National Park College Nighthawks. A beautiful day for softball deep in the heart of Arkansas after a somewhat scary evening last night. Severe weather moving into central Arkansas with a tornado touchdown just north of Hot Springs in Hot Springs Village. Had an opportunity to tour Hot Springs Village this morning and see some of the damage on site. A very small, heartfelt community just north of the place the Nighthawks call home. And we're happy that the weather has held off here. Rain in this forecast for most of the day today, and it has subsided. In time for Nighthawks softball to get started. Bailey Cowell back in the circle for the Nighthawks as we go to inning number two. ASU Mountain Home got on the board in the first inning on a throwing error from third to first. But the Nighthawks able to answer back in a big way with three runs in the bottom of the first inning. Six, seven, and eight hitters do it for the Trailblazers here in the second. This is designated player Caitlin Horton. Count is 0-1 on Horton. 
with Kylie Hodge and Bree Johnson all expected up here in the top of the second inning. Game one of a two-game doubleheader today here at Hot Springs High. And a swing and a miss by Horton. It's 0-2. Bailey Cowell is your Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services featured Nighthawk of today's game. And we'll talk to Bailey in between games of the doubleheader today. She allowed the first two batters she saw on the board a walk and an error. And then shut down the next three in order on a ground out and two strikeouts. The count is 1-2. On Caitlin Horton as Cowell looks for her third consecutive strikeout dating back to the first inning. Pitch is on its way. That one's fouled back to the Nighthawk dugout. Love to see you guys out there on the live stream. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're here to see. We'd love to give you some love today. Doesn't matter which team you're rooting for. The count is one and two on its way, and there's a ground ball over to Logan Nye, scooped up at shortstop, throws across her body. Molly Poole makes the play one away here in the second inning. Next up for the Trailblazers, first baseman Kylie Hodge. We see some comments out there on the live stream asking where the game is at. We are at Hot Springs World Class High School today. It's not too terribly far away from Majestic Park, the usual home site for Nighthawk softball. We are directly behind Hot Springs High School down the hill. You'll see the baseball and softball complex not too far away from the Trojans football and soccer field. We're all together in the pit behind the high school. That one is up and in, count moving to 2-0 on Hodge. Cowell getting set in the circle, trying to battle back against the Trailblazers' first baseman, Kylie Hodge, pitch on its way outside, ball three. The 3-0 from Bailey Cowell on its way right down the middle, taken for strike one. And there's a ground ball down the third baseline, scooped up Katie Branch, finding Molly Poole, two outs here in the second inning. Hello to Dwayne Hightower watching on the broadcast, loving National Park College Nighthawk Athletics. Watching from Perryville today. Hey, I know that guy, Phil Godwin's on the broadcast saying, let's go Nighthawks. Glad to have you, Phil. What's up, buddy? Big week coming up in Illinois. We're going to talk about that here in a moment. At the plate for the Mountain Home Trailblazers, Bree Johnson, the pitcher. Cowell delivers another one, and whoops, the bat goes flying. Oh, my goodness. Souvenir for a Nighthawk baseball player in the stands. And, you know, it has it, things are just a little bit slippery out here at the ballpark. Of course, lots of rain today. It was pouring right before this game. And a big laugh for Bree Johnson as Nighthawk baseball returns the bat. You see her wiping her hands off on her pants. No harm, no foul, but it is a strike. The count is one and one. Last time we were here for Nighthawk baseball, it was the past and present game, and we saw a lot of those bats flying everywhere. There's a foul ball back to the pole. One and two on Bree Johnson. Something about the... Uh, the air 
here at Hot Springs World Class High School. I don't know. Bats go flying. Balls go flying. The count is one and two. Cowell wheels and deals way outside to even it up. Two and two. Jeremy's on the broadcast in Cave City, Kentucky, saying go Nighthawks. Hello, Jeremy. Thanks for tuning in today. We'd love to hear from you as well. Doesn't matter which team you're rooting for. Give us a comment. We'd love to give you some love on the stream. Happy Friday to you. Foul ball back into the woods. Into more of the swamp here at Hot Springs World Class High School. Count remains two and two. On its way, and there is a swing and a miss. Down goes Johnson. Down go the Trailblazers in the second inning. We'll go to the bottom of the frame. The Nighthawks come to bat next, leading 3-1. to one. We're back in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. Football is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in-person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Off to the bottom of the second inning here at Hot Springs World Class High School, the site of today's NJCAA Region 2 doubleheader between the Nighthawks and Trailblazers. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. Bree Johnson makes her way back to the circle for ASU Mountain Home. And for the Nighthawks, it'll be the 9-1-2 and two hitters due up in the second frame. Reagan White. Taylor Ashbrook and Taylor Southern. No, do not adjust your volume. You're right. Reagan White is batting in the ninth spot in a very strategic move made by Coach Autumn Wyatt. You, you typically see White as that leadoff hitter in that one spot, the very quick sophomore left fielder, but now providing a very big threat in the lineup down in the bottom spot. And that allows this lineup to come up in any particular order and really just offer the biggest amount of threat possible. Reagan White ranking in the top 10 in pretty much every offensive category for National Park College in her Nighthawk career. Steps in for the first time today against Bree Johnson. First pitch. And that one is just outside, ball one. It's a good eye by Reagan White. The left-handed left fielder steps back into the box, 1-0 the count. Johnson winds and fires, and there is a chopper foul. That'll bring things up, 1-1 one one as White makes her way back to the box. A great crowd on hand here for Nighthawk softball. Couldn't wait to see the team back in action. Count is even. Johnson fires, and White got a piece of it, fouling it back. Now with the 1-2 count, White is expected to abandon the bunt play. Trailblazer catcher Cameron Floyd gets the sign from the Mountain Home dugout. Here's the pitch, and White swings through for strike three. Down goes Reagan White for the first out of the inning. And back to the top of the lineup we go. Taylor Ashbrook grounded out her first time up today. She bats with one out, nobody on. And there's a grounder off the glove at second. And that one's going to go all the way back to the wall. Ashbrook turns for second, head into third. Ashbrook is going to get the stop sign over at third. Oh, she slides off the bag, and she's going to be safe is the call. 
And we apologize here at Hot Springs High. We have just a small, tiny blind spot in the worst possible place. But as it stands, Ashbrook is safe on a huge smack just off the glove of Latham at second base. And that's going to bring up Taylor Southern for the Nighthawks here with a runner in scoring position. Southern was hit by a pitch her first time up. Ground ball to third, throw to first, and the runner has to stay put. That's the second out of the inning. Next up for the Nighthawks, shortstop Logan Nyes. Nyes walked, stole a base, and scored back in that three-run first inning. Looking to bring teammate Taylor Ashbrook home. The count is 1-0. and oh. The 1-0, -oh and Nyes is going to belt that one into shallow center field. That will score Ashbrook, and the Nighthawks strike again 4-1 on that bloop RBI single for Logan Nyes. Carly Morrell steps in for the home team. And she'll take a strike on the first pitch she sees. Two outs here in the second inning. Runner on first, Logan Nyes. The 0-1, taking at the shoulders to even it up. You know, traditionally, I would say that triples are few and far between, really on any level of baseball or softball. For Coach Autumn Wyatt's squad this year, another one added on that triple by Ashbrook to start it off. Foul ball back by Morale, puts her back in the count one and two. But Ashbrook joins a whole host of Nighthawks on this current unit that have triples to their name. Reagan White has five in her Nighthawk career, just three away from the all-time mark. Morale with another cut, foul towards the Trailblazer dugout. The count remains one and two. Morale stands tall in the box, waiting the next offering from Bree Johnson. And that one's going to get away. Runner takes off for second. Nyes is up, standing up, thinking about third. And she'll retreat to second base. Two and two on Carly Morale. Two's on the board for the Nighthawks. Looking to bring in Nyes and make it a four-run lead. And that one's going to get behind Morale. That one is going to be ball three as Nyes takes third on the pass ball. The count is full on Carly Morale. Johnson has walked three batters today through one and two-thirds innings. Morale awaiting the payoff pitch. Johnson fires, ball four. And the inning will continue here at Hot Springs World Class High School. Molly Poole is up next for the Nighthawks. Nyes on third, Morale on first. Poole. Had a sacrifice ground out with an RBI back in the first. Takes the first pitch she sees for a strike. And down to second base will be Carly Morrell with the steal. The count is 0-1 on Poole. 
The sophomore from Missouri stepping into the box in a 4-1 ball game on its way, and there's a pop-up out towards center field. That ball is caught, and that ends the inning here in the second. We'll go to the third. The Nighthawks lead it 4-1 here on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. Music is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. You smile, smile. We head to the third inning here at the ballpark. Hot Springs World Class High School, the site of today's doubleheader. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. 4-1, to one, NPC adds another one. And the second inning now retreats back to the field where Bailey Cowell rejoins the circle. Cowell allowed the first two base runners on and then has retired six in a row since then, picking up three strikeouts on the way. She'll face the number nine, one, and two hitters here in the third inning for ASU Mountain Home. We'll get to more of your comments on the live stream here in a moment. Leading things off is right fielder Madison Goodman for the Trailblazers. First pitch of the at-bat, taken right down the middle for strike one. Want to say hello to Sherry Livingston on the broadcast saying go Nighthawks, cheering on Taylor Southern and the ladies today. Jeannie Meadows also cheering on National Park College. So glad to have you with us today. That one drops in a little bit high, a little bit away, one and one. Cowell wheels and deals, and there's a foul ball. Back to the screen. And, of course, it would not be a Nighthawk Network broadcast without the pool party. Hello, Mom and Dad. Cheering on Molly Pool from Missouri. Go Nighthawks. So glad to have you with us. Happy Friday. Hope you have a great weekend planned. The count is one and two. Cowell fires liner to pool, and she'll step on the bag and make the play. Mom and dad are watching Molly. Great play out there. One down here in the top of the third inning. Next up for the Trailblazers, it's the top of the lineup. Sydney Bryans, the center fielder, comes to the dish. Bryans walked and scored the lone run for ASU Mountain Home back in the first inning. On its way, and that one's just outside the mark, 1-0. Brian stands in, cheating up a little bit towards the top right corner of the batter's box. Cowell fires, and it's a comebacker to the pitcher right through into the outfield, scooped up by Taylor Southern, and a runner's aboard. A one-out single for Brian's. And that's the first official hit of the ball game for ASU Mountain Home. Next up for the Trailblazers, second baseman, Jesse Latham. Latham reached on an error but was trapped on third base back in the first inning. Cowell wheels and deals. There's the bunt down the line. It's foul. Count is 0-1 on Latham. Cowell gets the sign from Gracie Redmond, the wind-up, the delivery outside. 
One and one as the runner retreats. Sydney Bryan's over at first. The count is one and one. On its way, there's a bunt. It's popped up high, and the catch is made by Katie Branch, two down. Right place, right time for the second-year Nighthawk out of Waco, Texas, Katie Branch. That takes care of Latham and brings up Ashley Early. Early grounded out to Ashbrook her first time up. Bats with two outs and one on. Cowell's first offering is popped up into foul territory and off the roof of the Nighthawk dugout. Early retreats to home plate. Trying to bring around Sidney Bryans from first and make it a two-run ball game. Cowell has her pitch on its way and swung through. With three strikeouts today, Bailey Cowell looks for her fourth. Trying to take care of the Trailblazers here in the top of the third inning. The 0-2 pitch fouled away. Back into the circle we go. Here's the 0-2, it bounces in front of home plate. Runner goes to second and the tag is not in time. Bryans is safe in scoring position. Back home, the count is one and two. ASU Mountain Home trying to chip away. Cowell has the one she wants. The wind up, the one two, it's popped up. Out toward foul territory, no play to be made. We'll have a reset. Ashley Early continues to battle for the Trailblazers at home plate. Count is one and two as Early steps back into the box. Brian's on second. The one-two, swung through for a strikeout. Cowell has her fourth, taking care of Mountain Home in the third. The Nighthawks come to bat in the bottom of the third, leading four to one. Back in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. Basketball is what I rise above, alcohol and drugs. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. Four one ball game here in the bottom of the third inning. The Nighthawks come to bat. Happy Friday to you. Hope you've got great weekend plans, maybe even spring break plans as well. I know where a lot of the National Park College Nighthawk family will be on spring break. Danville, Illinois, where Nighthawk men's basketball will play in the NJCAA National Tournament. Number five seed in the 20-team tournament. 
received the good news with the at-large bid back on Tuesday in the live selection show. They'll take on 12 seed Johnson County Community College Monday, March 18th at 6 p.m. Stay tuned to Nighthawk Athletics on social media for live stream link info for Nighthawk basketball. But as we wait for basketball, we've got a great slate of ball games for you. Of course, Nighthawk softball today. Nighthawk baseball is at home tomorrow against ASU Mountain Home. That doubleheader beginning at 3 o'clock at Majestic Park right here on the Nighthawk Network. Gracie Redmond slaps one over to third base to scoop the throw, and it's off the glove at first. Redmond's going to be safe on the fielding error, and that's how the, four, the, the bottom of the third inning, excuse me, will start here in Hot Springs World Class High School. Next up for the Nighthawks will be Jessica Sweer. And we may have a pinch runner coming in for Gracie Redman. It looks like it may be Aubrey Goodnight. It will be good night. So Aubrey Goodnight, and that's good news for Nighthawk fans, will take over as the pinch runner for Gracie Redman here in the bottom of the third. No one out, one, one on, excuse me, for Jessica Swear, And she'll take a strike right down the middle. Good night, of course, a very speedy Nighthawk. Scoring nine runs this season. The 0-1 to Swear check swing. Did she go? Yes, she did. So that moves the count to 0-2 on Swear. Good night. Ready to sprint at the crack of the bat. 0-2 offering down the middle. Swear goes down on strikes. That's the first out of the inning. And next up for the Nighthawks will be Katie Branch. One out, one on for the Nighthawks. As Branch takes the first pitch outside for ball one. Aubrey Goodnight, the runner on first for NPC. And Branch is ready to bring her sophomore teammate home. There's a strike taken down the middle, one and one. Bree Johnson has her pitch in the circle. The 1-1 one, one offering is up and in, 2-1. Good night, thought about sprinting for second, held tight over at first. And now Branch awaits the next pitch. The 2-1 is connected, foul down the third base line. We're about an hour into game one here at Hot Springs World Class High School, 4-1 NPC here in the bottom of the third. The count is two and two on Katie Branch and she'll line that one, same place, same result, it's a foul ball. Johnson and the Trailblazers looking to take out the Nighthawk third baseman here. Making a much more manageable two-out inning. Good night, ready to run over at first. The count is two and two. 
On its way, and Branch is going to pop that one up into shallow right field. And that ball drops and moves into foul territory. Everyone's going to be safe. Doesn't look like the Trailblazers called the ball. And now the NPC Nighthawks have two runners aboard. Next up for National Park College, Reagan White. Branch on first, good night on second. Reagan White had a rare strikeout her first time up. She's hit by the pitch there, and the bases are loaded. And that brings us back to the top of the lineup. Here comes Taylor Ashbrook. Looks like it may have caught White on the wrist. She shows her left wrist to Coach Dory Comier. Bases are loaded for Taylor Ashbrook. Good night on third, Branch on second, White on first. Ashbrook had a triple her last time up. She sails that one up and deep to center field, and it drops. Here comes Good night. Here comes Branch over to third, and the bases will remain loaded. An RBI hit for Ashbrook to make it a 5-1 ball game. Taylor Southern is next for Nighthawk Nation. And we may have a meeting in the circle. We will. Does not appear to be anybody warming up for the Trailblazers. We'll use that opportunity to update our scoreboard. 5-1 NPC. Good night scores the run on the play. Branch is on third, White is on second with Ashbrook on first. And now it's Taylor Southern's turn. The freshman from Winsboro, Louisiana steps in. In a 5-1 ball game with the bases loaded with one out. And a pitch out, ball one. Southern was hit by a pitch, stole a base and scored in the first, grounded out in the second. She bats in the third consecutive inning today. Facing off against Bree Johnson. Taken outside, ball two. Southern back into the box. The 2-0 taken down the middle, strike one. Southern appears content with making Johnson work for it in the circle. And the Nighthawk base runners are ready to sprint. 2-1 on its way. That one bounces in front of home plate. It's 3-1. And, and now Southern threatening to walk in at run number six today. Three one on its way. Ball four. And in it comes Katie Branch. For the sixth run for the National Park Nighthawks. And we may see a pitching change. We will. We'll take a break. 6-1 National Park College. We're back in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all. And everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. 
My name is Kazaya, and volleyball is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. The new pitcher for the ASU Mountain Home Trailblazers is number 11, Courtney Vess. She'll take over for Bree Johnson, who exits here in the third inning with the bases loaded. National Park College leading 6-1. to one. This season, Vess will make her 10th appearance. An ERA of 13.10. Seven strikeouts on the year for Vess. As we resume play here in the bottom of the third inning, it's Logan Nye's turn. Nyes has walked, singled, scored, and driven in a run today. The bases are loaded. Nyes watches that one bounce in front of the plate. And another ball high, 2-0. and Reagan White's on third, Taylor Ashbrook on second, Taylor Southern on first for NPC. Logan Nice takes the 2-0, pops it up deep, out to center field, back near the warning track. The catch is made, tagging up to score. Reagan White, no doubt about it, she's in 7-1. That's the second out of the inning. As Nyes goes down, that brings up Carly Morale. Morale was hit by a pitch, walked as well here in this one, takes ball one. Runners on second and third for the home team. Morale watches that one sail outside. The count is 2-0 on the Nighthawk designated player. Molly Poole standing on deck for the home team should the inning continue. The 2-0. Ball three. And Vess fires down the middle to get the first strike of the at-bat, three and one. Morale back into the box. The eighth hitter of the inning, and she will drill that one, a liner out to left field. That one is reeled in, and it takes care of the Nighthawks in the third. 7-1 NPC. We're back in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. For 50 years, National Park College has been changing the lives of our students and their families to improve their quality of life and better our community. From GED courses to apprenticeships and bachelor's degrees, NPC offers the education students need to succeed. At NPC, we're here to nurture potential. Over 90% of our students receive financial aid, making education accessible without piling on excessive student debt. We're more than just educators. We're just Job creators, supporting 1,750 jobs in Garland County, propelling our state and region forward. Every dollar a student invests in an education at NPC is an investment in their financial future. We believe in the power of community, and our impact isn't just in the classroom, it's woven into the fabric of Hot Springs. Be a part of something transformative. Connect with our community and invest in the future. National Park College. Together we can continue changing lives for the next 50 years. We head to the fourth inning here at Hot Springs World Class High School where the National Park College Nighthawks lead it 7-1. to one. 
Arkansas State University Mountain Home comes to the dish. The four, five, and six hitters do up. Callie Dunn, the third baseman, leads things off against Bailey Cowell. Swings at the first pitch she sees and lines it straight to Ashbrook over at second. One pitch, one away here in the fourth inning. Next up for the Trailblazers will be the shortstop, Tinley Williams. Williams is 0 for 1 today with a strikeout as she faces off against Cowell today. Four strikeouts in the effort so far for Cowell, looking for her fourth win of the season. The lone blemish for the Nighthawks came on a throwing error back in the first inning. There's a comebacker over to the shortstop off the body of Logan Nyes. No play to be made. The runner's going to be safe. So it's a one out. One-on situation for ASU Mountain Home. And I believe that'll go down as the second hit of the ball game for the Trailblazers. Next up, designated player Caitlin Horton. Runner on first, one out. First pitch of the at-bat is lined foul down the line. New softball coming in for Bailey Cowell. Williams, the runner on first for Mountain Home. The wind up in the delivery just below the knees, one and one. Horton back into the box for the Trailblazers. On its way up and in, two and one. Cowell gets her sign from Gracie Redman behind the plate. Two and one on its way and a swing and a miss. That makes things even at two and two. Cowell wheels and deals, and there's a slow roller. Ashbrook charges, turns, fires to first. Poole makes the play. Two away. The runner takes off for second, and ASU Mountain Home will have one in scoring position with Tinley Williams. Horton is down for the second out of the inning, and here comes Kylie Hodge. The trailblazer first baseman will step in with two down. ASU Mountain Home trailing by six runs. First pitch is a ground ball over to Poole. Poole with an easy step onto the bag, and down goes Mountain Home in the fourth inning. We head to the bottom of the inning where the Nighthawks come to bat in a 7-1 affair here on the Nighthawk Network. Nighthawk Athletics is growing. Home to more than 107 student athletes, NPC has built an athletic program with four regional championships and two nationally ranked teams in just seven years. Consider supporting the development of this 51,000 square foot multi-use athletics facility that includes indoor practice space and workout facilities, along with fields for baseball, softball, soccer, and track and field. Your tax deductible gift could change a student's life. Give today at np.edu forward slash support. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. We've reached the bottom of the fourth inning here at Hot Springs World Class High School. Molly Poole gets the nod for the Nighthawks. 
Five, six, and seven hitters due up. Poole, Redman, and Swear for NPC. They're looking for two runs here in the bottom of the fourth inning to set up that do or die top of the fifth here in game number one of the doubleheader today. As a reminder, we have both games for you right here on the Nighthawk Network. Game two is on the exact same link that you're at right now. No new link. You don't have to go hunting, searching, chasing. We've got you. We'll have our featured Nighthawk interview with Bailey Cowell and then a still image on your screen as we go to intermission. And you can just stay tuned in the comments section. We'll get you an update when first pitch of game number two will be. But the Nighthawks still trying to take care of business here in game number one. Molly Poole behind in the count. 0-2. Oh, so Poole steps back into the box for NPC. And that one is driven out towards center field. Back at the wall, making the grab are the Trailblazers. Sidney Bryans makes the out one away. Down goes Poole. Here comes Gracie Redman. Redmond into the box with one away. Gracie's reached on a walk and an error today. First pitch up and away for ball one. And that one's going to bounce in front of the turf, 2-0. Redmond takes that one near the shoulders. A good eye, 3-0 and on the Nighthawk catcher. And now Redmond threatens to reach base for the third consecutive at bat. Strike one down the middle. Forcing Vest to work for it. Here's the 3-1 from Vess, and there's ball four. Very few do it as good as Gracie Redmond does when it comes to walks. And she adds another one to her career here for NPC. Jessica Swear takes her turn at bat for National Park College. Swear with a walk and a strikeout today for NPC. Batting with Redmond on first. Take strike one down the middle. That walk for Gracie Redmond is her 30th of her Nighthawk career. She's number three all time at NPC. Swear with a quick 0 2 count for number 99. And Vess looking to get the strike out here. On its way, outside edge, one and two. There's a slow roller foul for Swear. We'll reset at home plate. The count is one and two. Now the umpires will take a moment to meet out in the center of the field. Coach Autumn Wyatt out to discuss. And I believe the out bat is going to continue here. Didn't get an explanation from the umpires today. And now coming to deliver the explanation here. So it looks like it's an illegal pitch against Vess in the circle. So we'll see where they put things here. It looks like two and two is the count.
So we'll wait for things to resume here. Redmond the runner on first for NPC. One out. Swear at the plate. The count is now two and two. And you see down at the bottom left corner of your screen, the home plate umpire talking things over with the head coach for ASU Mountain Home. Nighthawk superfan Hudson Wyatt's joining us up in the broadcast booth today. And I'll tell you this much, you can't see him, he's having a blast. The count is two and two as we resume play. And we've got a roller over to third, turning over to second, looking to turn two, only get the lead runner as Redmond goes down for the second out of the inning. Swear will stay on the fielder's choice. And next up is Katie Branch for the home team. Two down here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Branch takes the first one on a changeup 0-1. The 0-1, and there is a connection out towards the corner. That ball is foul. Missed it by about a foot right into the left field corner. But now Branch returns to home plate with an 0-2 count, and with just a little bit more oomph on that, that was going to clear the yard. Talked about the Nighthawks wanting to get two runs here in the bottom of the fourth. Potentially end game one early. And there's a connection foul, and no one can get to it in time. So Branch swings and connects the other way, but it's the same result. Back to the batter's box for Katie Branch. And there's a connection over to shortstop. The scoop and the throw to first. Branch is out. Down go the Nighthawks in the fourth inning. We'll head to the fifth in this one. 7-1 National Park College back in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. Basketball is what I rise above. Alcohol and drugs. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. Top of the fifth inning here at the ballpark, Hot Springs World Class High School. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. Want to say hello to Ginny on the broadcast, cheering on Bailey Cowell and those National Park Nighthawks, and Robin out there cheering on Carly Morrell and NPC. So glad to have you with us today. And of course, we've got some fans for the Trailblazers as well, cheering on Sydney Brooke. Hello to the Bryans fan club today. Thank you for tuning in. We're in the top of the fifth inning where Bailey Cowell stays in the circle for National Park College, allowing just one run through four innings of work, four strikeouts for the first year Nighthawk. It'll be the eight, nine, and one hitters. For the Trailblazers here in the inning, it's Courtney Vest, the pitcher at home plate right now, facing a 1-1 count. Vest back into the box, facing off against Cowell, pitcher versus pitcher. 
Cowell winds and fires a swing and a miss. Count moves to one and two on Vess. Cowell gets her pitch. One, two on its way, and there's a liner over to Poole at first. The scoop up touching the bag. Molly Poole records the first out of the fifth inning. It's been a few times we've seen a few three unassisted for the first baseman, Molly Poole. Right place, right time. Here comes right fielder Madison Goodman for the Trailblazers. Goodman is 0 for 1. Also grounding out to Molly Poole today. First pitch of the at-bat is a swing and a miss. Strike one. Bailey Cowell has done well to induce ground balls today. The 0-1 on its way, and it gets away from the pitcher 1-1. One Here's the 1-1, one, one, and it's a foul ball. Nowhere for Goodman to go, and she'll retreat back to home plate with a 1-2 count. Talked about Hudson Wyatt up here in the box at Hot Springs High. We've got a lot of youngsters in the ballpark today. The future's bright. And a big showing of the fan bases for both NPC and ASU Mountain Home. And there is a swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Bailey Cowell, her fifth of the ball game. And that's the second out here in the fifth inning. Down goes Goodman. And now we go to the top of the lineup with Sidney Bryans. Bryans has been the most consistent trailblazer to reach base with a walk and a single. So far here in game one. Cowell's first pitch is taken for strike one. Brian scored the lone run for ASU Mountain Home back in the top of the first inning. The Trailblazers led it 1-0. Nighthawks responded with three in the bottom of the first. Haven't looked back since. And we're going to go to the bottom of the fifth inning with the Nighthawks come to bat with a chance to walk it off, leading 7-1. to one. This is Nighthawks softball on the Nighthawk Network. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Hi, my name is Kazaya, and volleyball is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. White, Ashbrook, and Southern lead things off for the National Park College Nighthawks in the bottom of the fifth inning. Game number one of today's doubleheader here on the Nighthawk Network. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. And it looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter for NPC here. In place of Reagan White, I believe it's Dallas Phelps. No, excuse me. This is going to be Gracie Fowler. And this is something we've started to see recently here for NPC. Fowler, of course, 
often seen in the pitching circle for NPC, but has recently got her turn in the batter's box and has come up uh, with some success recently. She's going to pop up here to the second baseman, though, on the first pitch she sees, and that will be the first out of the bottom of the fifth inning. So Fowler goes down, and next up for the Nighthawks will be the top of the lineup with Taylor Ashbrook. First pitch taken by Ashbrook will be ball one. And it looks like we may have an, a number of pinch hitters coming our way here in the fifth inning. That one taken high for ball two. I see Sophia Meadows getting ready on deck and places Taylor Southern. Count is 2-0 on Ashbrook. She'll swing and pop that one up high in the air to center field. The catch is made. Two down. Next up for the Nighthawks, Sophia Meadows. She'll bat with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Meadows will take for strike one on the first pitch she sees. Batting in place of Taylor Southern in the number two spot today. Logan Nye standing on deck for the home team. Here's the pitch. Meadows watches ball one. Sophia Meadows back into the box. Here's the pitch from Vess, and that's called strike two. Meadows looking for something to straighten out here in the fifth inning. She'll show bunt, pulls back, ready to slash, and she'll swing through for the strikeout. Down go the Nighthawks in the fifth inning. We'll head to the sixth. 7-1 NPC here on the Nighthawk Network. Football is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Seven one National Park College. We go to the sixth inning here at Hot Springs World Class High School. Time for Bailey Cowell to come out. Five strikeouts for the freshman hurler today. As ASU Mountain Home looks like it's going to bring a pinch hitter to the plate to start the inning. Cheyenne Merkel, the freshman, will bat in place of Jesse Latham here in the sixth. Here's the first pitch, and that one is driven out towards right field and foul, 0-1. Merkel returns to the batter's box for ASU Mountain Home. Trying to cut into a six-run deficit here in the sixth inning. Cowell winds and fires, and there's a ground ball over to second base. The scoop by Ashbrook. Poole makes the play one away.
Next up for the Trailblazers, number three, left fielder Ashley Early. Early is 0 for 2 in today's action, a strikeout and a ground out. As Bailey Cowell looks to make quick work of ASU Mountain home here in the inning. First pitch is popped up, and that one's out towards shallow right field. Ashbrook sails underneath and makes the grab just like that, two away. The final hope for the Trailblazers in the sixth inning rests on the bat of third baseman Callie Dunn. Cowell and the Nighthawks looking for back-to-back -back one, two, three innings. Here's the first pitch. It's outside, ball one. Wheeling and dealing. Cowell opposite in. Couldn't hit her mark, 2-0. Next pitch on its way, there's a ground ball scooped up by Logan Nyes. The throw to first, and Poole makes the play just like that. Down go the Trailblazers. In the sixth inning, the Nighthawks come to bat in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. Music is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. You smile, smile. It's been a solid day at the plate for Logan Nyes for National Park College. A walk, a single, an RBI sacrifice fly. She's driven in two runs today, scored once, and now she'll be the leadoff hitter for National Park College in the bottom of the sixth inning. Nighthawks need two runs to win it here in the bottom of the frame. And regardless of what happens here, it would be a do-or-die top of the seventh for ASU Mountain Home. Game number two will come your way after a brief intermission here on the Nighthawk Network. No new live stream link. We'll have our featured player interview and a still image and intermission, and then we'll have first pitch of game two. Here's the first pitch of the sixth inning, and Nyes takes it yard, and that one is gone. No doubt about it. Number 12 of her Nighthawk career. High fives and handshakes coming for Logan Nyes. It's 8-1. Madeline Thompson is the all-time leader in home runs for National Park College with 15. Logan Nyes has just hit her 12th, moving into fourth place all-time. And there is a liner, and that one's going to go foul down the third base line. Morale will have to retreat 0-1. Count is 0-1 after the round tripper by Nyes, and now Morale belts it into center field. It's going to stay in the ballpark, reeled in by Bryans out in center field, and that's the first out of the inning. Next up for the Nighthawks, Molly Poole. First pitch to Poole, take in for ball one. Poole is 0 for 3 today, but has an RBI to her name. And she'll take that one for a strike. It's 1 and 1 on the first baseman. 
NPC needs one more run to close out game one. There's the pitch, and there's a liner out in the center field. That ball goes all the way back to the warning track, scooped up by Bryans, and the potential winning run is on first base for Nighthawk Nation. Here comes Gracie Redman for NPC. And we're going to have a pinch runner coming in for National Park College here. I believe it's Dallas Phelps who gets the nod over at first. So Phelps stands on first for Nighthawk Nation. Redmond takes down low for a strike. We'll get our scoreboard updated for you on the screen here. And now it's right. Bottom of the sixth, one out, 0-1 count. Phelps on first. Redmond takes. And the count is one and one. Redmond with two walks, reaching on an error as well. One of the most patient hitters you'll ever see. Donna Uniform. 1-1 one, one is high, 2-1. and one. Redmond awaits the offering from Courtney Vess. It's on its way, and that one is lined foul. Two and two on the Nighthawk catcher. Vest checks her wristband for the pitch. It's on its way, and it's popped up in the field of play. The catch is made, and they're going to double up Dallas Phelps to take care of the Nighthawks here in the bottom of the sixth inning. We'll go to the seventh. It's 8-1 National Park College. Do or die for the Trailblazers next on the Nighthawk Network. Basketball is what I rise above, alcohol and drugs. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. Bailey Cowell out to try to close out her fourth win of the season here at Hot Springs World Class High School. A rainy, soggy Friday afternoon in the Spa City. St. Patrick's Day weekend, of course, a very big weekend for fans, tourists, and residents of Hot Springs. Bailey Cowell prepares the first pitch of the at-bat for Tinley Williams, the shortstop. It's 0-1. Cowell winds and fires. There's a pop-up out toward right field. Swear backs up on the run, makes the grab. One down. The world's shortest St. Patrick's Day parade takes place in downtown Hot Springs. Emmett Smith, the NFL Hall of Famer, the legendary Emmett Smith, is the Grand Marshal this year. Takes place on Bridge Street, which is in the Guinness Book of World Records for the shortest street. And it's a lot of fun. Standing room only. As Cowell fires in here, and there's a foul ball. Off the foot of Caitlin Horton.
Horton shakes it off, heads back to the box. One out, no one on here in the seventh. Here's the pitch from Bailey Cowell and a comebacker over to the shortstop. Nyes with the scoop, the throw. Poole makes the play, and the Trailblazers are down to their final out here in game number one. It all comes down to the bat of Kylie Hodge, the first baseman for ASU Mountain Home. Cowell closing in on her fourth win of the season, her second complete game victory of the 2024 campaign. There's the pitch on the outside, ball one. The count is 1-0. Cowell has the pitch that she wants. It's on its way. There's the ground ball. Scooped up by Ashbrook. The throw to Poole, and down go the Trailblazers in game one. The Nighthawks will win it 8-1, to one, your final score. And we'll be back in a moment to wrap things up as the Nighthawks take the opener in today's doubleheader. More Nighthawks softball coming your way in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. For 50 years, National Park College has been changing the lives of our students and their families to improve their quality of life and better our community. From GED courses to apprenticeships and bachelor's degrees, NPC offers the education students need to succeed. At NPC, we're here to nurture potential. Over 90% of our students receive financial aid, making education accessible without piling on excessive student debt. We're more than just educators. We're job Job creators, supporting 1,750 jobs in Garland County, propelling our state and region forward. Every dollar a student invests in an education at NPC is an investment in their financial future. We believe in the power of community, and our impact isn't just in the classroom, it's woven into the fabric of Hot Springs. Be a part of something transformative. Connect with our community and invest in the future. National Park College. Together we can continue changing lives lives for the next 50 years. Your final score in game number one, National Park College defeats Arkansas State University Mountain Home by a score of 8-1. to one. Winning pitcher in the circle, Bailey Cowell, picking up her fourth of the year. She moves to 4-3 and three on the season. She did it with five strikeouts over seven innings of work, one run allowed, just one walk, one hit allowed for the freshman hurler, Bailey Cowell from Clarksville. Arkansas. Offensive leaders for National Park College in the win. You got to tip your hat to Logan Nyes. She finished two for two today. Had a home run, an RBI single, an RBI fly out. She walked, she stole a base, she scored. She did just about everything here for National Park College in the 8-1 win. Also, Taylor Ashbrook coming up big with two hits in today's game. Picking up her first triple as a Nighthawk. Scoring a run and an RBI single as well. Game two will be coming your way next right here on the Nighthawk Network. Don't go anywhere. First, we're going to take a look at our Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services featured Nighthawk of the Week. You just saw her throw a complete game victory for the Nighthawks. Now meet the young woman who wears the number nine jersey for National Park College. Congratulations to Bailey Cowell. Following the interview, we'll go to a still image. As we go to intermission, we'll have an update on the start of game two in the comments section here on the Nighthawk Network. National Park College Nighthawk Softball is on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk Athletics this season. Our Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services featured Nighthawk of the Week, Ms. Bailey Cowell. Bailey, welcome to National Park College. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, hi, my name is Bailey Cowell, and I'm a freshman here at National Park. I'm from Clarksville, Arkansas, and I'm a pitcher. 
Big shoes to fill last year, of course, as National Park College graduated some of the best to ever do it for the Nighthawk softball team. And coming off the best season, we knew that we'd have to go find the best and the brightest talent from not only here in Arkansas, but beyond in the region as well. And tell me what it was that drew you in to Nighthawk Nation this season. How did we find you? Um, Coach White came to my pitching coach's clinic, actually, and that was the first time I met her, and then she watched me play a couple times in Hot Springs, and we stayed in contact, and then once I came on a visit, I just knew that this was my home. I like Coach White. I like the campus. Coach Dory's great. It's just all around great. And the rest is history. Of course, we have a very strong returning class of sophomores from last year's team, filled with the freshman faces such as yourself that kind of bolster it, throw it all together and makes one happy Nighthawk family. And, and tell me what it's like to be a member of this family this season, coming in as a freshman and, and doing really great things as you are. Um, being a part of this team is really just great. We have sophomores who are super supportive. We have freshmen who are there to back you up. The all-around team culture is just really, really great. Yeah, a lot of fun that you guys have in the dugout or in the bullpen on these long bus rides. And it's been a tough go to the season in the early go. But anybody who knows and really studies the teams that you're playing against knows that Coach Autumn Wyatt is trying to get this team ready, battle tested for the road ahead and looking ahead to the postseason. And as we stand here in Region 2 play, this is a team that comes off of a tough road trip in Oklahoma against some very good teams. And now you get the chance to come home against Arkansas State University Mountain Home, a team that is struggling right now and averaging double-digit runs allowed. That's got to be really good to, for a pitcher to hear going into that matchup, right? We talked about the great things that you're doing. You're leading the team in wins, strikeouts, and ERA. Watching you in the circle, doing your thing, you might get runners on base, you may allow some hits here and there, but you never look discouraged out there. You always look fierce, determined, just ready to take care of business. And of course, softball is such a mental game. And, and certainly it has to be difficult to be a pitcher. But but what is it that you tell yourself to, to get through those moments of adversity to get the job done? Um, I tell myself that I have a great defense behind me and that they're going to get the job done if I just let the batter put the ball in play. So really, I just have to spin the ball and hit my spot and then I'll be fine. We mentioned ASU Mountain Home coming to Hot Springs World Class High School, your alternate home on Friday. And what are the keys going into this matchup? You know, coming off of the losses against Murray State on the road, what has the team been working on this week and how do you prepare for the Trailblazers Friday? Um, we're just prepared to come out hitting the ball early and do the little things right, stay bought in and Take, a, take two dubs. Now, Bailey, coming into this season, you may have set some goals for yourself, your first collegiate season for softball. And, of course, we know the team goals. But where do we stand in terms of those goals as we sit in the middle of March? Um, the main goal that I've set for myself is to keep my ERA down. Uh, it's a little bit higher than I would like it to be, but, I mean, that's what you expect whenever you're pitching at the collegiate level. So, other than that, I just... That's it. And of course, there's still a lot of season to go, too. There's still a long way between now and the beginning of May when the postseason begins. And we think that the best is yet to come for the Nighthawks as well. Uh, congratulations on the honor this week. Is there anybody that you'd like to say hello to who may be watching? Um, I want to say hi to my friends and family from back home. Bailey Cowell of Nighthawk Softball. You can follow the team online on Facebook, Instagram, and X. Special thank you to Washita Children Youth and Family Services, the sponsor for the featured Nighthawk of the Week. She's Bailey Cowell. I'm Mark Oliver, and this is Nighthawk Softball on the Nighthawk Network.
And we're back. The start of game number two in today's doubleheader against the Arkansas State University Mountain Home Trailblazers. National Park College took a win in game number one, eight to one. The final score in the complete game win for Bailey Cowell, moving to four and three on this season. Gracie Fowler gets the nod for the home team in the finale today. As we take a look at the starting lineup for game number two, it looks a little bit like this. Taylor Ashbrook leading things off at second base. Taylor Southern batting second in center field. Logan Nyes at shortstop in the three spot. Carly Morrell moves to left field batting fourth today. Ryan Lefford takes her place behind home plate in the five spot. Molly Poole at first base. Katie Branch at third base. Dallas Phelps gets the start in the DP position. Reagan White, as you see on your screen, moves to right field in game number two for Gracie Fowler and the National Park College Nighthawks. Fowler will be making her 11th appearance of the season. She's 2-3 and three this year with a 6.5 ERA. 10 strikeouts to her name. She will go to battle against Kylie Hodge for the Trailblazers here in game number two with gray skies overhead here in the Spa City, Hot Springs, Arkansas. I'd like to thank everybody for jumping back in on the broadcast here on the Nighthawk Network. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're excited to see, and we would love to give you a shout-out in this one. National Park College looking to go for the series sweep over the Trailblazers as Fowler and Lefford finish their warm-ups here at Hot Springs World Class High School. Once again, Nighthawk Baseball plays at home tomorrow, they'll take on the Trailblazers in the conclusion of their three-game series. Games two and three tomorrow, beginning at 3 o'clock at Majestic Park. We'll have those games for you live right here on the Nighthawk Network. And then everybody's hitting the road to Danville, Illinois this weekend where National Park College Nighthawk men's basketball serves as the number five seed in the national tournament. Best wishes and safe travels to Coach Dylan Hargrove and those guys as they make their way toward the Illinois-Indiana border bus leaves tomorrow. I know Phil Godwin's out there. He's getting rested up, ready for a big day tomorrow, and hopefully some big basketball next week. Gracie Fowler is looking for a big game here at Nighthawk Softball in the conclusion of today's doubleheader. We're just about to get underway here as Sydney Bryan steps into the box. Here's the first pitch and we are underway. A swinging strike starts the show here in game number two. Sydney Bryan's Cam Floyd and Ashley Early all expected up in the top of the first inning for the Trailblazers. Count is 0-1, and there's one in on the inside. That's called strike two as Fowler jumps ahead in the count, 0-2. Gracie Fowler looking to start game two with authority here. Against the center fielder, Sidney Bryans. 0-2 on its way, and it sails away, ball one. Ryan's back into the box. Fowler gets the sign from Ryan Lefford behind home plate. 1 2 pitch on its way just below the knees, 2 and 2. Ryan's back into the box. Fowler takes her time, 2 2 on its way in a pop up foul. And this at-bat continues with a 2-2 count. Rain fell for the majority of the morning here in Hot Springs, let up just before first pitch of game at number one. After a night filled with severe weather here in Garland County last night, Two and two, the count on Bryant's. Pitch on its way. There's a grounder right to Molly Poole, who steps on the bag one away here in the first inning. Molly Poole has certainly put in the work defensively today in this series. I believe that is the fifth unassisted play to first base in today's games, and Here's Cam Floyd, the designated player. She was behind home plate as the catcher in game one, now number 23, 
Looks to be the first base runner for the Trailblazers in game two. She swings through the first pitch she sees for strike one. And now back into the box is Floyd. Losing the batting gloves. Count is 0-1. Fowler winds, fires. There's the bunt right down in front of home plate. Fowler with the scoop. The throw to first. Ashbrook makes the play two away here in, in the top of the first inning. First two Trailblazers retired in the first. That brings up left fielder Ashley Early. Of course, ASU Mountain Home led briefly in game number one after scoring a run in the top of the first inning. Looking to try to repeat history here. Pitch one is low, ball one. Early batting with two outs and no one on. Fowler gets the sign from Lefford. And there's a pop-up over to shortstop. Logan Nyes underneath makes the play. One, two, three. Down go the Trailblazers. Here in the first inning, Nighthawks come to bat in a moment here on the Nighthawk Network. Basketball is what I rise above. Alcohol and drugs. <laughs> I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. We head to the bottom of the first inning here at the ballpark. Hot Springs World Class High School. Taylor Ashbrook will lead things off for the home team. It'll be Ashbrook, Southern, and Nyes, the one, two, three hitters for National Park College as they look for the series sweep, taking a 8 1 win in game number one today. And as the Trailblazers finish their warm ups here, Ashbrook will make her way. Had two hits in game one, including her first triple of the season for National Park College. Ashbrook faces off against Kylie Hodge in the circle. First pitch of the at-bat is a grounder. It's foul. So Ashbrook will retreat to home plate with an 0-1 count. The clouds continue to gather overhead as Ashbrook takes that one outside, evening things up one and one. Talked about the severe weather Affecting Garland County yesterday, an EF2 tornado touches down in Hot Springs Village. Just north of Hot Springs, and that was going to be a strike call against Ashbrook, who will come back with a 1-2 count. Ashbrook steps in, Hodge fires, check swing away, and that ball will be ball two. And it looks like the umpire has a different count. The call is three and one behind home plate. I think the head coach for ASU Mountain Home is going to come out and try to see if we can get the count right here. It is going to be two and two. That's what we thought. 
So two and two on Taylor Ashbrook. Here's the pitch from Hodge, and there's a ground ball over to second. Off the glove, and Ashbrook is going to be safe. The first base runner for National Park College here in the bottom of the first inning. She reaches on an error and now slides on down to second. She came off the bag, and she will be tagged out. NPC getting aggressive on the base paths, and perhaps the turf is a little bit slick from all the rain we saw today. We've seen this numerous times back in game one. Ashbrook is the first out of the inning. Next up for the Nighthawks, Taylor Southern takes her turn at home plate. And she'll swing at the first pitch she sees. Off the glove of the pitcher, Hodge throws the first, she's safe. So Southern will reach, and that will bring up Logan Nyes. Logan Nyes blasted her 12th career home run in game number one. That was the final run in NPC's 8-1 victory. And taking off for second is Taylor Southern. She'll get in and stay on the bag this time. The Nighthawks have the lead run in scoring position. Stolen base for Taylor Southern. Nyes awaits the pitch here, takes it high above the shoulders. Count is 2-0 on the Nighthawk shortstop. Two and zero on Nyes. Watching that one inside ball three and headed off to third is the runner. Southern slides in safely. It's three and zero on Logan Nyes back home. One out runner on third. Hodge getting the sign from her catcher, Caitlin Horton, and that's ball four. So Nyes will sail on down, taking her base, and it's Carly Morales' turn here at the ballpark. Nyes on defensive indifference is going to go off to second, and now the run's going to come in and score on the throw. Nyes makes her way to third, continues to go. Nyes comes all the way home for the score. It's 2-0. National Park College, both runners come in on the play, and they'll clear the bases for Carly Morrell back at home. Southern and Nyes will both score on the play. And it looks like they're going to send the runners back. Taylor Southern is being sent down to third. And Logan Nyes is not coming back out. So we're, we're awaiting the explanation, which is taking place just beyond third base here at the ballpark. Southern is coming back to stand on third. Nyes would have been behind her on the base paths. And it looks like it's going to be leaving early on Logan Nyes for the out. So that changes the game considerably here. We'll take the runs off the board. Carly Morrell now bats with two outs and a runner on third. That's Southern. Back into the box. And now the home plate umpire discussing something with the pitcher, Hodge. Count is 1-0 and oh on... The Nighthawk hitter, Carly Morrell, she'll pop that one up out towards right field, sailing underneath, making the grab of the Trailblazers. And just like that, it's a scoreless ball game that goes to the second inning. 
We'll be back in a moment with more baseball, more softball, excuse me, here on the Nighthawk Network. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Hi, my name is Kaziah, and volleyball is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. As we head to the top of the second inning, it's a scoreless ball game. Two runs wiped off the board on a leaving early call against shortstop Logan Nyes. Back into the circle is Gracie Fowler for National Park College. I'm Mark Oliver with NPC. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're excited to see. We'd love to give you a shout out on the broadcast today. ASU Mountain Home will come up here in the top of the second inning. And like they did in game one, they're gonna try to gain the lead first. Here in game number two, four, five, and six hitters do up. Here's Callie Dunn, the third baseman for the Trailblazers. We'll also see Tinley Williams and Caitlin Horton this inning. Strike one on the first pitch thrown. Gracie Fowler taking care of the Trailblazers. One, two, three in the first inning. A couple of ground balls and a pop up. Here's the 0-1, a swing and a miss. The count is 0-2 on Dunn. On its way, on the outside edge, Fowler hits her mark, and it's a three-pitch strikeout to start the second inning. First K of the day for Gracie Fowler. Formerly of Genoa Central High School down in southwest Arkansas. Next up for the Trailblazers, shortstop Tinley Williams. The first pitch bounces in front of home plate, ball one. Fowler gets the sign from Ryan Lefford. Pitch on its way outside, 2-0. The 2-0 delivery is swung through, strike one. Williams takes a high cut at it. Fowler stays in the zone and catches the corner. Strike two. It's two and two on the Mountain Home shortstop. Looking for back-to-back -back strikeouts. There it is. The second K of the day for Gracie Fowler. Five straight batters retired to start the show for the Nighthawks. And now with two outs, here comes Caitlin Horton, the catcher for ASU Mountain Home. First pitch of the at-bat, it is popped up into the field of play. Fowler, nobody got it. And that ball is going to fall foul. Poole, Lefford, and Fowler went in for it. But the inning's going to continue. The count is 0-1 on Caitlin Horton. Fowler has the one she wants, bouncing in front of the turf, 1-1. One and one.
Next pitch down below the knees, two and one. Horton looking for the first hit of the day for ASU Mountain Home. The 2-1, a grounder, back to the pitcher. Fowler to pool, and down go the Trailblazers in the second inning. We head to the bottom of the inning with the Nighthawks coming to bat next here on the Nighthawk Network. Football is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in-person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Bottom of the second inning, and the Nighthawks will bring the five, six, and seven hitters to the plate. Ryan Lefford, Molly Poole, and Katie Branch all do up in the inning. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. Glad to have you with us on the broadcast today. These games were originally going to be played back earlier in the week, but weather moved them to Friday instead of Thursday. We're glad that you're sticking with us on the broadcast today here at game number two, Ryan Lefford will bat for the first time today. The Nighthawk catcher stepping in after the Nighthawks had two runs, wiped off the board in the first inning, looking to try to get the lead back in this one. Strike one on the first pitch that she sees from Hodge. Count is 0-1 on Lefford. Next pitch taken in low to even things up. The lights are on here at Hot Springs World Class High School. Hodge fires low for ball two. And that one up and in, ducking away is Lefford. Count is three and one on the Nighthawk catcher. A swing and a miss as Lefford gets in front of it. Now it's a full count. And that's going to be strike three. Lefford will go down looking. That's the first out of the inning. And that brings up Molly Poole for National Park College. Poole steps into the box. No one on. One out. And she'll take a strike on the first pitch she sees. Pool stands ready to swing. Hodge fires. It's down low. The count is one and one on the Nighthawk first baseman, Molly Poole. And another strike call as Poole takes. And an off-speed delivery up high. Good eye by Molly Poole, two and two. And that pitch gets away from the pitcher. Three and two, full count on Poole, full count on consecutive hitters. Hello to Terry cheering on Molly and the Nighthawks from Southwest Missouri. Thank you so much for sticking with us today. Hope all is well in your neck of the woods. 
And that's going to be ball four as Poole will take her base. The Nighthawks have a base runner on here in the bottom of the second inning. Next up will be Katie Branch for the home team. Branch swings at the first pitch she sees, lined over to third. Poole is back before she's doubled up, so there are only two outs here in the inning. Poole back safely as Branch goes down on one swing. The liner to third. Two outs, and that brings up Dallas Phelps. Phelps stepping in against Caitlin Hawk, uh, excuse me, uh, Kylie Hodge, first pitch she sees, goes away, ball one. Phelps back into the box, pull the runner on first for NPC. Pitch out, catching the corner, it's one and one. And that one gets away from the catcher. Poole takes off, heading for second. Thinking about third, she'll stand up in scoring position. Go-ahead run, standing in scoring position for National Park College. Dallas Phelps, the freshman, back in the batter's box, trying to bring her home. It's two and one. There's a check swing, pulling back just in time. Three and one on Phelps. The pitch from Hodge, and that is ball four. So Phelps will make her way down to first base. There's two on here in the second. And Reagan White comes to the plate. Looking to bring the lead to National Park College. The sophomore shifts to right field here in game number two. First pitch she sees is taken high for a ball. White has the speed, even with two outs, to show bunt and actually go bunt. She pulls back and tries to slash it. It's going to hit her. So White will take a base, and now the bases are loaded, heading to the top of the lineup. And perhaps not. Looks like White is going to come back. The count will be one and one, and Coach Autumn Wyatt's going to want an explanation here. She pulls Reagan White to the side. Coaching up her sophomore right fielder here. A big opportunity with two on and two out. Still early in action here in game number two. Nighthawks won the opener, 8-1. Bailey Cowell going the distance in the circle. White steps in with a 1-1 count. The pitch from Hodge, strike two. And now time is called as the home plate umpire heads out towards the circle. And we quite, can't quite pick him up on our crowd mic. But we're back in action, and now the count moves to two and two. White takes that one. The runner goes down to third, and she is safe. Everybody's safe as both runners advance on the play. And the count goes full on Reagan White. Phelps is on second. Poole is on third. 
And it's a full count for Reagan White. There's the pitch, and there's a ground ball. A slow roller to first. It's going to score the go-ahead run. White puts it down beautifully. It appears that it will not count. And that will be the end of the inning. So another run taken off the board for National Park College here in game two. We go to the third. We're scoreless. ASU Mountain Home comes to bat next on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. Music is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. You smile, smile. Back at the ballpark, Hot Springs World Class High School, where we go to inning number three in a scoreless ball game. So an explanation for Reagan White on the previous play, coming into contact with the ground ball, running down the first, resulting in the third out of the inning. Gracie Fowler and the Nighthawks take the field defensively and look to try to keep the Trailblazers at bay for yet another inning here. First pitch in. On the outside, that's going to be ball one to Kylie Hodge, the pitcher. Hodge batting for the first time in today's game. And a check swing in on the inside. She goes around trying to protect herself. That brings the count to one and one. Hodge back into the box, ready to go. Fowler awaiting the sign from catcher Ryan Lefford. On its way, popped up foul off the screen. No play to be made, one and two. Hodge awaiting the next offering from Fowler, one and two. And that one drops just away for ball two. The count is even two apiece. A good buddy Hudson Wyatt up here in the box. He can't quite talk yet, but I bet whenever he does, he'll have a lot to say. As the strikeout is recorded from Gracie Fowler, that's the first out of the inning. Third strike out of the day for Fowler, who's now recorded seven consecutive outs to start the ball game. Here's Cheyenne Merkel. She batted as a pinch hitter in game one. Gets the start over at second base here in game two. Count is 1-0 on Merkel. Fowler fires down the middle. There's a comebacker. Off the glove, Logan Nyes makes the play over to Poole. That's the second out of the inning. Lightning fast reflexes there as Nyes gets it done. Two down. Next up, first baseman, Courtney Vess. Fowler winds and fires outside edge. No call, ball one. And there's a swing and a miss as Vest takes a low cut at it. One and one. Fowler fires down the middle. That one's lined to left field. Could be trouble. It gets down. Morale can't get to it. All the way to the wall. Southern picks it up and headed for second is going to be Courtney Vess. It's the first hit of the ball game for ASU Mountain Home. 
And the potential go-ahead run stands in scoring position for the Trailblazers. With two outs, here comes the top of the order. Center fielder Sidney Bryans takes her place at home plate. 0 for 1 today, grounding out to Molly Poole. Showing bunt with two outs, pulls back, strike one. O one one offering, swung through it high, 0-2. Fowler and the Nighthawks trying to get out without any damage here in the third. Three strikeouts today for Gracie Fowler. Looking for the fourth, and there it is. That'll take down the Trailblazers. In the top of the third inning, the Nighthawks come to bat next, right here on the Nighthawk Network. Basketball is what I rise above, alcohol and drugs. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider. But if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. We head to the bottom of the third inning here at the ballpark. Hot Springs World Class High School where the Nighthawks and Trailblazers are deadlocked at zero. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. The Nighthawks have had runs come across in each of the first two innings of work but taken off the board due to either errors or base running errors. And now National Park College will look to try to get one across. It actually sticks here with the top of the lineup coming up. Here's Taylor Ashbrook. She swings at the first pitch she sees, and she'll end up on base with a big swing out to center field. So the leadoff hitter is aboard, and that brings up Taylor Southern for Nighthawk Nation. Southern steps into the box, one on, no one out here in the bottom of the third. She shows bunt, and she bunts it foul, and Ashbrook will have to come back with a reset, 0-1. Ashbrook reaches for the second time this game. An error in the first, a single in the third. Southern reached on an error as well in that first inning. The run was taken off the board. She'll pop that one up into foul territory and coming in and making the grab of the Trailblazers. That's the first out of the inning. So Southern is down, and that brings up Logan Nyes for NPC. First pitch denies, goes over her head, and sliding into second base safely is Ashbrook. She is not able to get up in time and make the scoot over to third. But the potential go-ahead run now standing in scoring position for National Park College. The count is 1-0 on Nyes back home. That pitch bounces in front of home plate, and Ashbrook takes off for third. Good eye by Nyes, who's ahead in the count, 2-0 and o versus Hodge. Nyes stepping back into the box. 
There's a connection over to shortstop, off the glove, and into the outfield. That will score the first run of the ball game. National Park College will light up the scoreboard on a hard-hit ground ball from Logan Nyes to take the lead. Next up for the Nighthawks, Carly Morrell. Looking to keep the rally going here. One out, one on here in the bottom of the third inning. Morrell watches it sail. Nyes takes off for second. She slides in safely. Another swiped bag for NPC. Count is 0-1 on Carly Morrell. Taking that one high, 1-1 one one on the Nighthawk left fielder. Morrell 0 for 1 today, popping out to right field. 1-1 one, one drops in just a little bit too high, above the shoulders, 2-1. There's the pitch. It's a little bit too low, and taking off for third will be Nyes, who gets there standing up. As the Nighthawks continue to run the bases well here in game two. Morale threatening a one-out walk, and that one's popped up awkwardly in the foul territory. The catch is made, two down. Ryan Lefford will take her chance now with two outs in the inning. Knives the runner on third. There's a connection, and that one's going to get into the outfield. It's going to score the second run of the ball game. Lefford steps up with two outs and delivers. 2-0 NPC. They say hitting is contagious. Here comes Molly Poole, who looks to add another one to NPC. Here in the third. First pitch is in for ball one. Poole walked her first time up, was stranded on the bases. Pops that one out towards deep right field, trailing on the run, making the grab are the Trailblazers. And that takes care of the Nighthawks here in the third inning. We go to the fourth. NPC leads it 2-0 here on the Nighthawk Network. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Hi, my name is Kaziah, and volleyball is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. Fourth inning here in game number two where the Nighthawks get on the board taking a 2-0 lead. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. Gracie Fowler returns to the circle for the home team. Finally allowed the first base runner of the ball game after taking down eight in a row to start the show. It was a double but was left stranded more importantly as Fowler notched her fourth strikeout of the ball game to keep the Trailblazers scoreless up to this point. Two, three, and four hitters due up for ASU Mountain Home here in the fourth inning of game number two. As Fowler and Lefford finish their warm-ups here, we'll see Cameron Floyd, the designated player, step in. Floyd grounded out to the pitcher her first time up back in the first inning.
Gracie Fowler wheels and deals just on the inside. That's ball one. Corner infield playing in for National Park. That's Poole and Branch. The 1-0 offering gets away from Fowler, 2-0. The Nighthawk hurler looking to battle back against Floyd. A little bit of high, 3-0. The 3-0 goes right down the middle as expected. Gets the strike call, 3-1. and one. As Fowler looks to battle back. Next pitch of the at-bat sails right down the middle for strike two. Now the count is full. And there's a connection over to second base. Ashbrook leaps, makes the grab, one away. Next up for the Trailblazers, left fielder Ashley Early. Early is 0 for 1 today. Popping up to Logan Nyes over at shortstop. She steps in against Gracie Fowler, fouls away the first pitch she sees into the forest. One out, no one on for ASU Mountain Home in the fourth. Fowler has the one she wants. 0-1 on its way on the inside. Couldn't catch the corner. It's 1-1. One one. Next pitch of the at-bat. Same play, same result. 2-1. Fowler trying to hit her mark here. Can't quite get there. Moving to three and one on Ashley Early. The Trailblazers have had just one base runner here in game number two. It was a double back in the previous inning. Now they have their second. That's ball four as Early will take her base. And that brings the potential tying run to the plate and Callie Dunn. Dunn is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. She bats with one on and one out here in the top of the fourth inning. And she stands ready in the box. Fowler has her pitch on its way, and it's down the middle. Just a little low for ball one. Runner on first is early, ready to go at a moment's notice. 1-0 is fouled back to the screen. Dunn is back into the box with a 1-1 count. Next pitch is lined out off the base runner. And that will result in the lead runner being out two down. As they got tied up in the legs of Ashley early. Dunn will be on first for Tinley Williams, the shortstop. First pitch at the at-bat is low and away. Ball one. There's a ground ball over to Ashbrook, looking to turn two, flips to Nyes, and that's all they need is the final out of the top of the fourth inning. Down go the Trailblazers. They leave a runner on board, and we head to the bottom of the fourth. NPC two. Trailblazers yet to score. This is Nighthawk softball on the Nighthawk Network.
Football is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. It's a two-run lead for National Park College as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning at the ballpark, Hot Springs World Class High School. I'm Mark Oliver with NPC. Back in the circle for ASU Mountain Home, number nine, Kylie Hodge. It's been a bit of a closer ball game in this one so far. Katie Branch will lead things off for the home team as we get set for action here at Hot Springs High School. Do it for the Nighthawks here in the inning will be Branch, Phelps, and Reagan White. That's the seven, eight, and nine hitters. In the fourth inning, National Park College looking to continue to build that lead, pad things, and trying to take care of business with a series sweep here. Now the meeting between coach and umpire is over. Katie Branch... We'll be ready to rock here in the fourth inning. Branch is 0 for 1, lined out to third base, her first time up today. Swings at the first pitch she sees and delivers it all the way to the left center field wall. Branch turns from first, heads to second. It's a leadoff double to start things off here in the fourth inning. That brings up Dallas Phelps for the Nighthawks. We've got a meeting between head coach Autumn Wyatt and the home plate umpire here as we may have a pinch runner coming out for Branch, and we will. Jessica Swear will take over at second base. But a big double to lead off the inning for Katie Branch, a huge hit. As Phelps will bat with a runner in scoring position. No one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning for NPC. Phelps, a couple of check swings, steps into the box. Phelps walked her first time up today. Takes strike one on the first pitch she sees here in the fourth. Count is 0-1 on Dallas Phelps. On its way, there is a ground ball to the pitcher, turning, throwing to first, and that will advance the runner. One down for Reagan White. The runner, Jessica Swear, moves to third on the play as NPC tries to extend on a 2-0 lead. White is 0 for 1. She fouls that one away. Stepping back into the box is Reagan White. Runner on third is Swear. 
The next pitch is grounded over to third base. The scoop, the throw, it goes over the head. White's going to be safe. She turns and heads for second. Swear's going to score. White continues to sprint as she slides into third base. The NPC extends its lead. It's 3-0. to Reagan White comes up big there, scoring Swear on the play. Next up for the Nighthawks will be the top of the order with Taylor Ashbrook. And we've got a Trailblazers player that appears to be coming out of the game. And we may have a pitching change due up soon for ASU Mountain Home. Looks like we're going to have some defensive substitutions here. Madison Goodman is going to move to right field for Mountain Home. Jesse Latham moves from right to second base. As we resume play, one out in the bottom of the fourth inning. Nighthawks lead at 3-0. On third base... Reagan White, first pitch of the at-bat to Ashbrook. He gets away. White thought about coming in, going home, but ends up holding back on the play. Count is 1-0 on Ashbrook. The next pitch, taken at the knees, that's 2-0. Taylor Ashbrook reaching on an error in the first. Singled and scored in the third. It's been a great series for the second baseman so far. That one misses its mark. It's 3-0. The 3-0 pitch down the middle. That's going to be a ball for runners on the corners. Here comes Taylor Southern. So Taylor O.R. heads to first, and Taylor E.R. comes to home plate here. ASU Mountain Home gives the first and third call. And the Nighthawks looking for some one-out magic here in the fourth. First pitch, and Ashbrook takes off for second. The throw to third goes into the outfield. Here comes White. Ashbrook continues to move. She's safe at third. It's 4-0 NPC. The throw went awry into the outfield. Don't know if anyone was expecting it. It results in another run as White crosses home plate. The count is 1-0 on Taylor Southern. Takes that one low, 2-0. and oh. Back into the box is Southern. Here's the pitch. Outside, 3-0. and oh. And there's strike one down the middle. Southern takes, trying to get the pitcher, Hodge, to work for it. And she delivers the strike right on the money. Three and one. And there's a ground ball. That's going to be foul. The count goes full on Taylor Southern back home. One out. Ashbrook on third. Logan Nyes. Standing on deck for National Park College. Payoff pitch on its way, a foul ball. Yeah. 
The count is three and two. Here's the pitch, and Southern delivers. A ground ball off the glove over at first. The scoop, the throw is made. Ashbrook scores on the play. Two down in a 5-0 lead for National Park College. That's going to clear the bases for Logan Nyes. The shortstop stands up. She's reached base twice, and she's going to do it again here. She lines that one all the way to deep center field. Nyes with a two-out single. This, this inning will continue with the likes of Carly Morrell coming to home plate. First pitch, and it gets away from the catcher. Nyes turns from second, heading to third, and she'll get there safely as the Nighthawks continue to sprint around the bases here at Hot Springs World Class High School. That one getting away. Count moving to 2-0 on Carly Morrell. Ryan Lefford standing on deck for Nighthawk Nation should the inning continue. Three runs across here in the fourth inning. Nighthawks looking to add more and a 5-0 advantage. The count is 3-0. and zero. Nyes on third. Here's the pitch on the inside, ball four. Ryan Lefford sheds the catcher gear. And heads to home plate to bat here in the bottom of the fourth inning. A slow trot out to the circle for ASU Mountain Home. I believe this is just the first visit here. We don't see any activity in the Mountain Home bullpen. Runners on first and third, Logan Nyes and Carly Morrell. Now we're ready to resume softball here at the ballpark. Two down here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Been a big fourth inning for NPC. That one's going to be called for a strike as Morale takes second unopposed. Another stolen base for the Nighthawks today. Lefford is one for two. Had an RBI single her last time up. Also has a strikeout today. The count is 0-2 on the Nighthawk catcher. And there's a drive out towards center field. One run will score. Morale being waved around. It's seven to nothing. A big two-out smack for Ryan Lefford. And the inning continues for National Park College. Molly Poole due up next for the home team. Stepping into the box, ready to go. And she'll connect on the first pitch. It's through the legs of the shortstop. Lefford turns, heading for third, and she'll get in. And taking second on the play is Poole. The throw goes awry. It's trouble for the Trailblazers. Lefford comes around to score. Poole stands on third. When it's all said and done, it's an 8-0 ball game. We've batted around here in the fourth inning. Katie Branch... Heads back to home plate. It's her second time this inning. Runner on third, two outs for the home team. Branch delivers. That's a deep ball to center field. The catch is made, and the inning is over. The Nighthawks come in and score six in the fourth to take an eight-nothing lead. And now we head to a do-or-die top of the fifth inning 
for the ASU Mountain Home Trailblazers. That's next, right here on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider. But if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. Music is why I rise above alcohol and drugs. You smile, smile. Top of the fifth inning here at the ballpark. National Park College blows it open in the previous inning. 8-0, the Nighthawks lead. And now ASU Mountain Home needs a run to keep this game alive. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. Gracie Fowler looking to seal the deal. And close up shop here against the Trailblazers in this series. For ASU Mountain Home, they'll have Caitlin Horton, Kylie Hodge, and Cheyenne Merkel coming to the dish here in the fifth. The first pitch of the fifth inning is on its way. It's ball one. Caitlin Horton is 0 for 1 today with a ground out. Fowler wheels and deals right down the middle, but misses her mark low, 2-0. and oh. Towing the rubber is Fowler. Lefford set behind home plate, down the middle, strike one. And there's a smack over towards shortstop, and Logan Nyes makes a diving play for the first out of the inning. A great defensive stop. And that will take care of Caitlin Horton in the fifth inning. Kylie Hodge, the pitcher, stands in next for the Trailblazers. First pitch of the at-bat taken high, ball one. Into the box is Hodge. The 1-0 on its way, and that one's popped over to Katie Branch, who makes the grab. Two down. And the Nighthawks are one out away from taking the series sweep. It rests on the bat of Cheyenne Merkel, the second baseman. 0 for 1 today with a ground out. First pitch, down low, ball one. Fowler gets the one she wants in the circle. Winds and delivers. There's a strike call down the middle. One and one on Merkel. There's a foul ball out of play. Got Merkel to chase it outside the zone. One and two. Gracie Fowler looking for the punctuation point. O2 pitch on its way, fouled away.
Back into the box is Merkel. Count is 0-2. Fowler wheels and deals another foul ball. That one rolls down the mountain. As Merkel fights to stay alive for the Trailblazers. The count is 0-2. Lefford gets set behind home plate. Fowler's pitch on its way. Ball one, or excuse me, ball two. Merkel battle, battling in the box. Two's on the board. The pitch. Ball three. Fowler trying to slam the door here in the fifth. Time is called as Coach Dory makes her way out to the circle for NPC. Talking things over with her young women. Try to go out there and handle business here in game number two. Meeting in the circle is over. We're ready for softball here. The count is full on second baseman Cheyenne Merkel at home plate. Two outs in the top of the fifth. ASU Mountain Home needs a run to keep the game going. Merkel is into the box, ready to rock. The 3-2. Strike three. Down goes Merkel. And the Nighthawks will take this series sweep over Arkansas State University Mountain Home. Your final score in game two. The Nighthawks get it done 8-0. We'll be back to wrap things up here from the ballpark on the Nighthawk Network. For 50 years, National Park College has been changing the lives of our students and their families to improve their quality of life and better our community. From GED courses to apprenticeships and bachelor's degrees, NPC offers the education students need to succeed. At NPC, we're here to nurture potential. Over 90% of our students receive financial aid, making education accessible without piling on excessive student debt. We're more than just educators. We're job Job creators, supporting 1,750 jobs in Garland County, propelling our state and region forward. Every dollar a student invests in an education at NPC is an investment in their financial future. We believe in the power of community, and our impact isn't just in the classroom, it's woven into the fabric of Hot Springs. Be a part of something transformative. Connect with our community and invest in the future. National Park College. Together we can continue changing lives lives for the next 50 years. Final score in game number two, the Nighthawks take it 8-0. to zero. They'll win the series against ASU Mountain Home. Gracie Fowler will pick up her third win of her Nighthawk career in a five-inning effort. Five strikeouts, one hit, one walk, no runs for Fowler in a gem of a start against ASU Mountain Home. And as you take a look at the Nighthawks offensively, they're led by a couple of Nighthawks with two hits, Logan Nyes and Ryan Lefford. Nyes scored twice, two base hits, a stolen base and an RBI. Ryan, Ryan Lefford finishes two for three with three RBI in the win for National Park College. The Nighthawks are off on spring break. They'll be back Sunday, March 24th at the University of Arkansas Rich Mountain in Mina. Doubleheader on the road starts at 1 o'clock on Sunday, March 24th. Nighthawks are back at home on Thursday, March 28th.
eight, they've got the Lady Rockets of SAU Tech. That is a 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock doubleheader at Majestic Park in Hot Springs. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. Thank you so much for tuning in to this edition of Nighthawk Athletics here on the Nighthawk Network. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and get notified the next time we go live, which is tomorrow, by the way. Nighthawk Baseball plays a doubleheader against the Trailblazers of ASU Mountain Home and trying to avenge a Game 1 loss. First pitch, 3 o'clock right here on the Nighthawk Network. We'll see you then. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a safe and happy weekend and spring break. This is Nighthawk Softball on the Nighthawk Network.